Ooh. I'm going to be reacting to some of these amazing website designs. They're going to give me inspiration to improve my own design skills, because right now they're a little bit lacking. Let's have a look at what some of these people have put together. Here is our first website, and this one's pretty cool. Already from the get-go, there's not too much on this page, but when we have a look and refresh, we can see these really nice animations. These animations sort of fade the page in with a little bit of these shapes coming in, as well as this topography, and the topography and the shapes blend together to show this duality of what this business is about. This website is called Branded, and what it does is a niche for an audience together with artificial intelligence. And we can see how these two things are combining, not just with these shapes and this design, but as we scroll through with this animation that combines both of them. How cool is this animation right here? We see the text is fading out and these shapes, which look like SVG shapes, are blending together into this next section called quality and insights. And this already, just the actual fact that this animation blends together with this topography for quality and insights already showcases this visually through this animation. And I love this. If we continue on, we move to this next section, which has some nice color aesthetic with the little pink offset here with the text on the left saying AI ensures quality insights. And here we've got another example of the representation of imagery and animation bleeding into a section that if we have a look at the actual description of it, basically it says that AI is being used to identify audience participants and it's showcasing how it's doing with these examples of how bots might be essentially replying to surveys maybe, I'm not too sure, but realistically the actual design aesthetic for this section looks awesome. This is then again played into new sections here, this green section, as well as this teal section. And again, we've got these subtle animations coming through and they're just helping convey the manner of the actual section itself and what it's trying to establish. And then we have this thing where it's showcasing how the AI data is coming in and out of this person, essentially giving you more information about them. So again, I think I really like this. We can scroll down here and it's got this nice section about how it's done. So create your audience, access your target audience and insights and innovation. And finally, we've got this section here and the footer. So all up, like this is a really good looking website. We can have a look at some of the other pages and we can see that they load in real quick and it feels like the page doesn't reload, but it's just transitioning to this next page here with these large statistics as we are scrolling through and examples of how they're working. This is a really nice website. I wish I could make something like this, but it gives me an idea of how I could build a website like this. The other aspect for this website, if you look closely, is the fact that there is a grid structure. We can actually visibly see it here with these lines, which are nice and subtle, but you'll notice that a lot of the stuff are actually following the line aesthetic of where they're in this grid. So here, for example, everything's within these three columns, whereas here, everything's in these three columns. And this is seen throughout the website, like even here, this is within these two columns, whereas this section here is within this right two columns. And this is what I mean, a clean design like this will work really well if you identify your grid structure from the very get go, and then work towards keeping everything within that grid structure. These avatars here, we have two per grid structure. So we almost have like a 12 column design here, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight column design, but it works really great. And we've got a little bit of padding here from the top left, or sorry, from the left and from the right hand side. And it's just enough for us to make a good looking design. Now all up between the topography, the icons, the animation, I think this website probably already gets a 10 out of 10. So let's see what's next because so far I've been blown away. Next, we have this website, which is gonna shake up the game rules for creating websites, I guess. Realistically, this is a pretty nice design because we have a couple of things happening here. First, we have this animated section here on the right hand side, and it looks like these clay morphism guys that are kind of trying to build a website. 
They look like they're newbies maybe, and they don't know what they're doing, but at the same time they have tools or the tools to make the website happen. That's pretty cool. And I like the fact that it's blending again with this text. And this is the symmetry I like to see all the time, where the topography or the text in the headings really is represented with the imagery as well. Let's actually scroll through here and have a look. But before we do, let's have a look at that fade in animation. So we've got this loading bar and then it's a fade in. So not as uh, over the top as our previous website, but just as something nice and subtle. We also have these buttons here or these circles and they almost help you draw your eye to this chat box, which is on the bottom right to help you click it. So that's kind of nice as well. Now, if we scroll down here, we've got our call to action. It says join the waiting list, which I think is useful. And then we also have the trusted brand businesses. And all of this is using this very strong blue topography. This blue topography is almost like the URLs that we often see when we see links. And the main thing that I've noticed with blue text like that is it draws our eyes. It's meant to because it's meant to be like a clickable link. And yet here it's the baseline color for the font, which means our eyes are drawn to all the text. And I think this is a really cool creative way to get a website to be more interesting than just having regular black text. So this is a pretty cool aesthetic. The only other aspect to it, I would say, is it'd be nice if there was a secondary color, maybe something accented just to give it some blend. But I guess they're doing this more with the imagery. And man, have they jumped into the imagery a lot here. We've got some more clay morphism here with some hover effects and animations as well as it's following my mouse, which I like kind of. And I suppose this is to show the community of people making websites being all sorts really. And I really like how they're playing into this goofiness of how everyone's unique and different and some people just might not know how to do stuff. And this product designer damn is grumpy. <laughs> Uh, so let's continue on. So we've got the next part here. We've got some examples of, I suppose, websites they've made. So this one here, this one here, this one here. Uh, oh, my blocks. They are so easy to work with. So instead of just saying design with blocks, they're actually giving an emotional statement here with the text. Now that we've moved on to a different section, we've got this green background with this purple text. And again, this is something I see that they're doing subtly. Purple is when you've clicked on a link and your eye is drawn to that purple link knowing that you've clicked on it. And yet they're using this for regular topography again to make it more, I suppose, to stand out. Um, but I just can see how they're playing around with some of these common elements we see in web design and changing up how they're used on a page. Now we've got the complete reverse where they've inverted the colors and the purple now is the background. And we've got this teal color with the text and again, a nice logo and animation of what's happening here and this a little animation it's not just any old animation it is like a user here having a wiggly arm not knowing what they're doing and they're moving website elements around and the top three items here the green maybe expand the red being close and the T1 could be minimized, but it's all serving a purpose to be unique and interesting and it still has that clay morphism fun feel to it Generally speaking, this website is really cool. I like how they've created this aesthetic. They've got some examples of ways you can, I suppose, use their product to make a website here and different examples of that. But again, as soon as we move on to new sections, every new section is unique. It's got a different blend of colors and backgrounds and clay morphism, and it just keeps the user engaged. You'll find that if you make a website design that just has the same old content repeated over and over, people will be disengaged. And yet here, another section, build a website for your business. And not only do they have these tags to show you, they've got this clay morphism mouse, which is moving around, hovering over different sections and actually providing a text hover effect. And this is just so much more interesting than the regular type where you actually do see, for example, all these tags and they just don't do anything unless the user manually clicks on them, which often they just don't. So far, so good. Um, this section here, what's this? 3,800 premium illustrations will be yours. So again, they're playing into that goofy image here, but this is very high resolution, looks really good. It's still got a little bit of animation. You see the little bounds going up and down, so everything feels alive. And that's what I really like about it. Like a good website doesn't feel like it's just, I suppose, a piece of paper. It feels like a drawing that's almost moving slightly in the background. I love this. 
Uh, let's keep going. So we've got some more sections here, and you can see there is a skew with a three-dimensional element played into this section here. And this time, instead of using the blue text, we've got white text on the blue background, and it really stands out. And then it also can be used to showcase these sections which are skewed, which I think works quite well. So all up, this website is marvelous in terms of the colors, the aesthetics, the use of color, animation, claim morphism to create something unique and interesting. And this is the kind of thing that you want to be doing if you're creating your own website to really stand out from the crowd. And this brings me to Enhance UI, Design for Developers, which is a book I've been writing for the last year and it's close to release. It's going to have hundreds of pages of different UI skills that you can apply to improve your own designs. But if you want a discount, make sure you throw in your email address down here. It's going to come in two parts. The first part will be a basic edition, which will just be the PDF, but the enhanced version will come with so much more, including videos and project files and assets. I'll get into that a bit later, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.